one. Smile, son. Look at that concentration. back my uh, phone here from dad so I don't know what he was telling you while he was videoing but <laughs> anyway we are uh, hauling a bit of gravel here at the 4020 in the scraper this is our gravel our little pile compared to the what belongs to the RM but and uh, we're using this nice crushed gravel to make a nice smooth pad that'll be uh, easy to shape but this loose gravel shows how uh, not watertight the scraper is, so. <laughs> you got wet dirt and wet clay, it doesn't leak, but the, uh, the loose gravel sure does, so. Anyway, he's gonna rip that back into the yard and dump it, and I'm gonna do the same with this, and we'll talk to you when we get there. Push that around at the 50-20 now and see how much more we need to uh, smooth and level things off. I've got a bucket full in the tractor again, but there's about 12 buckets to fill that thing, 12 40-20 buckets. So. Anyway, I'll get this dumped out and we'll spread it around and see if we can get some bins put into place. I can get one.
Little bit of pushing and pulling around, but get her smoothed off pretty good with the old 50 20 cat. Alrighty, I had quite a few people asking all kinds of questions about uh, this unit here. And uh, no, we aren't the ones who built it. But yes, it is homemade. It belongs to the neighbor, Antoine's great uncle. And uh, he bought it from an auction sale. And from before that, no one really knows where it come from. But what it is, is the frame of a mobile house trailer like what would be underneath of the house and the axles from the house trailer you can see they've got electric brakes in there that aren't wired up but that's house trailer stuff right there and uh, that's all the frame of it there like that would be if that was all connected and got cut off there but it should keep going and that would make the length of the house so someone made this majority of it's from that house trailer and then I mean the rest of it is iron from other things but someone made it anyways it wasn't us but so the way it lifts it's got that cable the spool up there your winch and then it runs all the way up and down through a pulley and then I'll show you inside here Up there, if you can see that, the way the sun's shining on it, but it's uh, two half circles, or quarter circles. And there's a hook in the middle of it with a pulley, and the cable swings down through it, and you just put that through the hole in the roof there, and that's how you uh, lift your bins up, is with that circle. And uh, there's quite a few people who haven't seen bins move this way. And there's all kinds of movers like this and ones you have with there like a fifth wheel gooseneck for and they pull them behind semis that's how they move the bigger five and ten thousand bushel bins on hoppers and see this thing here right now we're just using it the, as a crane but we've got some bins we got to bring home and you'll see it but you pick the bin up and then this whole thing here with the bin it'll cradle the bin in there and the whole thing lays down and then you can pull it behind your tractor or your pull it behind a half ton even like the bin doesn't weigh hardly anything neither does this mover so but uh yeah that is what that is and it's a little bit of a story behind it so i'm going to uh pick this bin up set it with the other ones and keep working on that floor or on the pad with dad there they're calling for thunderstorms it's really really hot i wouldn't be surprised if we got one I don't have anchors yet to screw them down over there. So we're setting them there and I'm anchoring them to the anchors that hold the other bins behind them there. So that way if the wind picks up, they don't all go tumbling like a bin tumbleweeds. So <laughs> we'll get this old girl here fired up and move that. Well, I thought I w oh wait a minute I know what's wrong one second mean to hit the uh, didn't mean to hit the end button there but the neutral start switch is getting kind of 
touchy-feely in this thing here. You gotta have it just ever so. So wasn't quite in the right spot is my guess, so. There. That's the way she should start, so. Alrighty, park neutral. a little bit here so that cradle holds it and as you can see now like you'd lay that right down and that's how you carry your bin so anyway I'm gonna get that set in its place and I'll talk to you in a minute I haven't showed you this that I bought either for the uh, 4640 some nice suitcase weights for the front instead of that uh, big flat Thing that's on there right now all I need is the uh, bracket the guy didn't have one so I'll have to uh, I'm thinking I probably just make one for all that it's got to be so there's uh, six of them there anyways so I want to get a full rack but that's a, a start anyways they're new style John Deere ones so anybody's got some they want to sell real cheap I'd probably get a few more <laughs> Just to double down on the wind breaking effect. Put a couple tandems there too, so. <laughs> anyway, that's probably where we're, we're gonna end her for this evening anyways. Yeah, just bringing a few buckets of gravel with the 4020 up here. And we're gonna shovel it around a little bit to some of the lower spots, but I think it's uh, pretty well as good as it has to be. Now, uh, tomorrow, I can, uh, well, tomorrow's Amanda's birthday, so I'm, I promised her I'd take the day off, so. I, uh, I'm not going to do a hell of a lot, but I might uh, go pick some anchors up to have them here, and then the next day we'll, uh, we'll get them spun in and set the bins here and cable them down. It won't take too long to do that. There's going to be one anchor on the end, one in the middle, one in the middle, and one on the end. So it'll be tied to the floor, and then this one in the middle will be tied to that one, and this one, and then same here, this one to this one, and then that one will be on its own, tied to the, the other one on the end. So anyway, I guess that's about all that's happening here. It's supper time now, so I guess probably where we'll end it. I guess. If you like what you saw and you haven't subscribed yet, do so. Everybody else, hit that like button. See if we can get a, a thousand likes again here. We've done did it once. Let's see if we can do it twice. So, <laughs> Alrighty, I guess. Thanks for watching. Talk to you guys in the next one. See you later. <laughs>